Hey everybody, welcome to the Blue Collar Beer Gentlemen. I'm Topher and I'm a fan of craft beer, but I'm also on a limited budget. So I created this channel to demonstrate that it was possible to enjoy good quality beers without having to break the bank. On this channel, I try to demystify craft beer and break through some of the elitism that surrounds it, and therefore I'm always looking for the best deal on beers. And today's selection is actually a pretty good uh, deal. I paid only $3.67 for the pint can of Tropical Dark Room Sour IPA with Kiwi. This is from Coronado Brewing Company. If you are unfamiliar with Coronado Brewing, they are out of San Diego, uh, actually uh, on the island of Coronado, just off the coast of San Diego. This is part of their um, art series that uh, Coronado Brewing has been done. Uh, the previous uh, review that I did for this was Mango Sprinkles. A few, a few, maybe a few weeks back, I did a review on uh, uh, for another from their art series called Mango Sprinkles, another IPA. I gave it a 4.25. I was very pleased with it. Um, <laughs> I've actually had six different beers from uh, Coronado Brewing and uh, given it an average score of 3.5. This particular beer has an ABV of 6.5. Typically, American IPAs come in between uh, 5.5 and 7.5. Also has, where's my number, where's my number? 40 IBUs, which is actually very low on the IBU scale. Typically, American IPAs come in between 40 and 70 uh, on the IBU scale. This particular beer has uh, is three years old at the time of this recording, so for you IPA purists, it's still within range. Um, None of my friends on Untapped have checked in on this beer. 437 of us, however, have checked in on it and given it an average score of 3.62. No rankings on Beer Advocate whatsoever. I think this is a fairly new beer, but what's unusual about this is that this is actually the first in the art series. And the art series is they take uh, they take photographers and they uh, showcase their you know their their artwork and all that. And this is uh, this guy's name is Derek Delacroix. And he is, uh, well, his, his Instagram handle is actually Tropical Dark Room. He takes black and white photos of palms, um, palm trees for uh, environmental uh, uh, resources and, and whatnot. And so if you go to his Instagram handle, as I said, uh, Tropical Dark Room, he's dark room. He's got some really interesting stuff there. And uh, so that's the ins and outs of that beer. I don't think there's a whole lot more I could tell you about it. Uh, like I said, I paid 367 for it. I want to show you one thing really quickly. Independent Craft Brewers Association. That's the way you know you've always got a good craft beer, an actual craft beer, and not faux craft. Just because the does not just because that symbol does not appear on a can of beer or a bottle does not mean it's a craft brewery. It's just that when you see that, you can feel very confident that you are in fact buying craft beer and not some corporate conglomerate. Okay, so there's the ins and outs of that. As I said, this is a sour IPA with kiwi. I am very fond of kiwi, so. I'm really, really hoping to enjoy this. I am going to be using my Stone IPA glass. Uh, Stone is also out of San Diego. I figured it was rather apropos considering I've got a San Diego beer pouring into a San Diego stemmed IPA glass. Okay, let's get to pouring and see what we got going on here. And so far what I'm seeing on the camera, yeah, you are seeing the actual color of the beer. Love when that happens. Love when love when the camera actually picks up the color of the beer, and I don't have to explain what the color of the beer actually is like. Uh, I am just going to describe that as medium high carbonation, and I can already smell that sort of vinegary smell from a sour. So, in fact, I'm not even going to describe that as medium high. I'm going to describe that as as high carbonation. That is very high carbonation. As you can see, that head very wispy. I mean, practically gone already. Uh, as I said, I smelled the vinegar. I'm going to give a quick beer bite. See what else I can encounter. Didn't really pick up much else but the vinegary smell. Let me stick my schnoz in directly, see what else I can find. Okay, I'm picking up on the hops for sure, but more than anything, I'm picking up the, on the uh, vinegary, soury uh, smell. I myself am very fond of the sour uh, phenomenon. As, as far as I'm concerned, the, the sour phase, the sour uh, beer phase can can uh, trend, can, can stay uh, trendy and popular as, as long as uh, the brewers feel like it. I, I'm really digging it. Okay, I'm going to quit yapping my flap. I'm going to start drinking some beer. Cheers. Mmm, that's very interesting. Okay, first impressions. Uh, I'm going to describe that as a medium-high mouthfeel. There is some spikiness, not much in the way of alcohol burn. Was it, I believe it's 6.2 or yeah, yeah, 6.5. 6.5, that's not altogether surprising that we don't have an alcohol burn at 6.5. 
naturally sour is the predominant flavor, but it's really not overly sour. Um, in fact, the kiwi is not a sour kiwi. It's a sweet kiwi that they've added to it, and it kind of tempers the sour down a bit. <laughs> As I said, sour is the predominant flavor, but... Uh, The kiwi is sweet and it is tempering it. I'm also getting a little bit more maltiness in this. The one thing that is kind of missing, I have to admit, is the hoppiness. I mean, it's a sour IPA. I'm expecting a little bit more hoppiness to it. And uh, while this is a good, it's it's a good beer. It's an interesting beer. It's a very interesting beer. Um, but I just don't know that I'm getting much in the way of a a hoppy IPA out of this. The sour is there, but it's not overly sour. Um, as I said, it, the, the kiwi does add sweetness to it. Uh, I don't know. I think um, I think 3.5 is actually enough for this beer. Um, I, I, I believe it or not, and this is amazing to me because I really like kiwi and I really like sour IPAs. Uh, I can't believe that I ended up giving mango sprinkles. Um, a, a higher score than this beer, but I just, I think that the beer itself really deserves a 3.5 for coming in a can. It's going to get that extra 0.25, so it came with a score of 3.75 on untapped, but I just, uh, you know, I guess it, it's, it's good, it's interesting. I was expecting more of an IPA, though. I mean, honestly, this, this could be a, this could be just about any variety of beer that had been soured, so... I'm a, I'm a little underwhelmed in that respect, but all in all, it's a good beer. It's just it's it's not uh, it's not what I would call a very good IPA, but um, you know it's 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 still okay. Like I said, it's it's going to get a 3.75 on Untapped from me. Well, guys, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, drink good beer and don't break the bank doing it. Cheers.